we were just walking because we knew that there was a law that was going to be passed that was going to attack our parents, that was going to attack our community, and we were not going to take it. I remember we received communication via Face, or I'm sorry, MySpace, and they just said, you know, something's going on. Congress is trying to pass some kind of a law that's going to discriminate against Latinos, against our family. So in the morning, I was in Santiago High School, and we were passing the word, passing the word. And you know that feeling you get in your stomach when something's about to happen and you're just nervous and your gut is just like squeezing? And that's what I felt. And it was terrifying. There were parents lined up on, um, in, on the gates. And in that crowd of parents was my mom. And she just looked at me with a serious face. Like she said, asegurate que no hagan basura. Make sure you don't make a mess. Our principal, Principal Wells, um, he asked me like, so why are you walking out? And I'm like, to go against this law because it's not fair, it's not justified. They had no other choice but to like to release us. And as the gates opened, we all poured out on, onto the sidewalk on Vermont and we knew we were gonna go to City Hall. At Carlsbad High School, the Latino population, the student Latino population isn't very big. So to see the Latinos that were involved and kind of all of us working together and walking out together and, and in, in some cases even meeting each other for the first time was, was, was very exciting. He opens up the gates and then the people start running and I'm like, no, 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 don't run, don't run, don't run, don't run, just walk. And so that's when the, they start unfurling the banner and um, we start walking down San Pedro, 111th and San Pedro. We just start walking. People who had citizenship, people who, you know, you know, people who, Jesus, my friend Jesus, he didn't have papers. So we knew this law was targeting particularly him. And, and we all knew that, we knew someone within our, you know, all our different groups who had some kind of background that was not legal. I got up to Harbor, you know, at the top of the, by Disneyland at the top of the bridge, and I, as far as I could see, there was a line of students. By the time that you get to Fremont High School, you've already passed at least four different gangs. And so we knew as we were walking, where we were walking. And we knew that whatever issues, whatever problems, whatever sect or crew or, you know, because even for me, I was part of a crew, so I couldn't walk past certain streets, even for myself, I knew that by doing that, I was standing up for something way bigger than whatever little issue or little problem that was happening in the community. We had no idea what was going on statewide until the five o'clock news, you know, and so we saw that it, 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 in fact it had been a countywide, statewide thing, national thing. By this point in time, I mean, we started getting trucks and cars, you know, because people are tired. I mean, we've already walked over 50 blocks. And peacefully. We knew when we were walking that the only conceivable way that we could make an impact was by nonviolent action. You know, I could see the smiles on their faces of these students. And, and it made me happy that they, you know, that they were not, didn't feel defeated anymore. That's the first time I felt that I had power about my decisions and, 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 and I, I as an individual could influence, you know, in others, you know, so that it can have, you know, a, a positive impact on policy. When I was 16, it kind of planted my seed in, this is bigger than just me and my family, right? My family, my parents are the only ones who migrated from Mexico. I'm not the only, you know, first generation American from my family to go to college. There's so many more people like me and I wanna learn more to be able to help. And today I work for a union and, and if we do just that, right? We advocate for among many issues, one of them are immigrant rights. Pretty much right now we're at the crossroads where we gotta um, re reflect and reassess uh, where we're at in order to find a better way forward because we're gonna need all of us together and be on the same page because obviously that anti-immigrant sentiments and anti-immigrant politicians, you know, spread, spreading that bigotry and that hatred. It is a very scary place right now. What if we had been able to maintain the momentum of the marches? What if the leaders 
would have been able to continue working together. That was an opportune time 10 years ago. And I feel like right now, that's a, this is an, another opportune time to make that happen. The question is, first of all, which leaders are willing to stand up and take action?